This morning, we are getting a new look at the future of live events. Ticketmaster is working on a plan for the return of concerts next year. News 8's Chris Crow joining us live outside Petco Park to break down what is in the works. Good morning, Chris. I know uh, the, the live events uh, business has been greatly affected. Uh, let's see what happens. This is not going to happen until next year, though. It's been impacted so greatly. You have a lot of people that worked in the live event industry that are essentially not working anymore, waiting for their uh, an industry to return. And if you remember here with the Padres playoff run, I mean, it was enjoyed by fans outside of the stadium and not inside the friendly confines of Petco Park. So it has been a bizarre world here in 2020 when it comes to live events. So any news now that we're hearing about a return is going to be welcoming. So in the age of COVID-19, this is how Ticketmaster has entered the conversation. According to a billboard report, Ticketmaster wants to use smartphones to verify whether customers have been vaccinated or tested for coronavirus. Now, customers would need to prove a negative result within 72 hours prior to concert dates or game dates, but it would ultimately be up to local health authorities to come up with that length of coverage for any test. So essentially what you would have happen is just like you would use your phone to check into this live event, you would use your phone for them to check to see if you've been vaccinated, if and when a vaccine comes out, and if you've been tested and you've tested negative. So for those that work in the live entertainment industry that have been out of work, like we just said, this is good news, right? Any news about a potential return to them is good. It's going to take somebody at that level with that kind of pull to push something like this through. I think what Ticketmaster does well is they get the narrative out there. Now, when we're talking about medical data, putting it on your phone, a lot of people would be concerned about whether or not it would be stored. Well, according to this billboard report, they would not be storing this data. So it's essentially something maybe if you're getting tested, you would have to continually get tested and any other type of data does not seem like it'll get out there. But it's an interesting development and one that we'll have to see uh, kind of come to fruition as we hear more developments.